Thank you for joining us today on the you know, Beyond the Reels. Before we actually go into the game itself, can you just talk us a bit about you know, the charity side of this and how it came about? Maybe a year ago, uh, a colleague of mine from the commercial management team shared the idea that uh, she would like to make a game with charity element. So we discussed internally. Uh, I had a meeting with uh, design team, with mathematicians, with uh, all the teams that are involved in the development of the slot games. And uh, I explained the idea. Um, they were very excited. And we decided to prepare a couple of concepts. So we started. We saw that the game looks really nice in concept and we had the decision to start working on this project. When the player first enters the game, what did you want them to see straight away? What we did, and this is the first thing that we are doing for our games, we did a short video that is like intro video in 30 seconds that we are presenting the, the charity side of the game. We are presenting different persons from Africa and we are explaining shortly what is the purpose of our um, charity part of the game. Perfect. And you know, you enter the game, it's a visually nice game and you kind of got that, because it's based in Africa, you've got that theme, you've got the, the imagery with it to match, it's very vibrant and nice. Can you just walk us through a base game spin and what players can expect, you know, through like RTP, volatility, symbols and so forth? So the game is uh, with five reels, uh, 20 fixed lines. The RTP is 96.62%. Uh, um, split between base game and the uh, feature of the game. The volatility of the game is from low to medium. And basically this is what we have for, uh, for drop water. You've got a feature in there called, I think it's water drop respin. Um, again, similar question to the base game. How do players trigger this feature? And what can they expect once, they get, once this feature is activated? What we designed is uh, we have in the game um, low payout symbols and high payout symbols. We have wild with bonus symbol. And once the player sees five bonus symbols on the screen, then he triggers the respin feature. Once it is uh, visualized in front of him, these five bonus symbols are transformed into drops, uh, drops of water with a different amount of money that he can collect. Then the feature starts and the player has three respins to make where the goal is to see full screen with drops, full with uh, amounts of money. So every time new drop land on the screen, the respins are refreshed to three. So you also include a, a jackpot card mode. Uh, can you just walk us through how this works and how, you know, how it plays out? Yeah, uh, the jackpot card is a very famous feature that we have in our games. And the uh, interesting thing of this feature is that it can be triggered anytime by, by, by any player. So playing the game Drops of Water, any player can trigger the jackpot cards feature and uh, he will see a screen with 12 cards where the player can select cards from these 12 cards. And uh, the goal in this jackpot feature is to collect one of the four levels that we have over there. We have clubs, we have uh, diamonds, we have hearts and spades. And the first three cards that are open from the player are the amount of money that the uh, player can collect from the levels that we provide with the player. You've released this charity game. It's a great cause, you know, it's a great thing you've done. Moving forward, would there be more charity games being released by AmuseNet? For sure, we have, an, we, we have uh, ideas for another games with charity. And uh, right now we release charity. Uh, we release drops of water this month, and we'll see how it performs. And definitely we will make another game with uh, charity purpose. Perfect. Like I said, I love the game. I love the you know it's a great cause behind it. Thank you for joining us today. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're doing in the future as well. So thank you. Thank you. Cheers.